Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, today, what I want to do is I want to cut through all the bullshit, all the non-dual bullshit, and just go straight to the truth, okay? Where you don't need an education in non-duality. You don't need to have read this book or that book, not even my books. You do not have to have read any books whatsoever to, in order to get this today. And if you read a thousand books before this, if you can forget what you read for just a minute, I might be able to help you actually have the breakthrough or the return to breakthrough, whatever the return to awakening that you seek. Um, that experience that you had that was just so fantastic and I just got to get that back. I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna at least see that what, that, what that's about. So if you go back through the history of this teaching, from almost, I mean, from the very first few videos that I ever cut, um, there's like 300 here now, a, a, a little, you know, some of the poor ones weeded out, I think. But um, whatever is on YouTube is clear. I think what, what I cut out was clear too. It just wasn't what I wanted to say. So, and one of the first things that I said was that you are already awake, right? And, um, and that has found just that sentence right there. You are already awake. Now, the mistake here is to believe that I'm talking to a person. Because I'm not. I'm not talking to an individual. I'm not talking to Frank or Paul or Carol or, you know, whoever. I'm talking to myself. And that's what you are. We are the very same thing. I only talk to myself, exclusively to myself. And because there's nothing else to talk to. Even when it doesn't look like and doesn't feel like I'm talking to myself, I'm always talking to myself. But here, there's a special, I don't want to say a special effort but there's a special filter that comes up that allows me to be sharper than, than at other times. I'm sharper in front of this camera than I am in, in my living room. That's all there is to it. Now, I might have the, an, a, a, an awakening or a seeing or whatever in the living room, but I won't be able to really get the ins and outs of that until I come here. And once I start talking, it, whether it's satsang or it's, it's an uh, individual session, my God, there are sessions galore now. We've got teaching sessions. We've got uh, clearing sessions, um, all kinds of stuff. And when I'm talking, that's when the truth comes out. That's the reason we're doing some small groups now, is that we want to give this thing more time to reach more people, right? So it's still one-on-one -on -one can still be very, can be completely vital, but it may not need to be completely. You may not need that in order to, to get this. You may actually get this right here and actually not come to any of my groups, not read any of my books. Don't bother even to come to the website and never look at me again on YouTube. If you get this thing to the degree that I would, would have you get it. I don't think you'll get there, but <laughs> but I'm 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 but I'm willing to uh, I'm willing I'm gonna give it my best. I swear to God, I always give it my best. You know why I give it my best? Because I'm giving it to myself. There is no individual here, so that's the reason I'm not talking to one. There isn't one here. There's no Fred here. There's no Tom there. There's no Fred here. There's no Beverly there. There just isn't. Right? There's just there is only this. See, there's not this plus Fred and Beverly. There's just this. So I'm always talking to myself, but I can be talking to myself from a so-called teaching chair, this chair. And any chair can be a teaching chair, but this one is tried and true. So... I can find myself teaching from the teacher position, if you will, speaking. I can find this. When I say me, I'm talking about I can find this body in this chair. And when I find this body in this chair and that camera is on, that's as clear as I get. 
So the idea that I'm having, you know, seeing other stuff that I'm not sharing with you is bullshit. I'm always sharing to the greatest level that I can. And it doesn't make any difference whether you paid me or you just blew into satsang, you know, or you or you just watching a video. It makes no difference. Or reading a book or a post on the website. It doesn't make no difference. I'm always trying my hardest. But what's trying is awakeness. And what awakeness is trying to do is noticing, it notices that through this unit, through this box, through this sack of conditioning that you call Fred and I call it <laughs> or body or whatever, but not my body. It's a body, but it's a cadaver. It, it, it is, it's not a living body, so to speak, because, and, and what I mean by that is that what is the living of this thing? What is the life? Where does the lifing come from? Because we can go down, you know, we can go to a, uh, a morgue and we can find all kinds of bodies but they're not talking. So it can't be the body that we're looking to help because it's not the body that's mixed up. It's not the body that's got this wrong. It's not the personality that has got this wrong. The only thing that can get this wrong is a whiteness itself. And when you watch a teaching, and you see one unit trying to wake up another unit that just can't seem to quite get it, that is not awakeness. It just isn't. And it doesn't mean that that teacher hasn't had an awakening. It doesn't mean that they're not clear in, in, in other things. But if a teacher is looking at an individual and trying to wake that individual up, probably then, that, then the teacher will think that it's an individual. And, and if we're not careful, it will think it's a special individual. And the truth is, if these things are not the most ordinary beings that you can find, they can't teach because they don't teach. Teaching occurs through this empty hose <laughs> or pipe, I guess it would be a nicer way to say it. The, uh, so this is a pipeline. And the problem is with the first believed thought, the pipeline is clogged. And then we're trying to break through, we're trying to get water to break through the pipeline. We can't do it. I mean, the water's quite a force, but it's not going to break through the concrete of the, in, of the enclosure. So we got to do it from here. When you're trying to push out from the other side, that's one unit trying to wake up another unit. It never happened. It never happened, even it look, even if it looks like it does. Even if it looks like it does, and they claim that it did, it didn't. Right? I'm just going. I'm just telling you the truth as I know it, and the truth as I know it is radical. And it's it would seem like it's arrogant, but there's no not a stitch of arrogance in this statement that I noticed 30 years or 15, 16 years ago, which was. My God, we've been doing it wrong for 6,000 years. That was, it's been longer than that, but that was the number that popped in my head at that moment. And I was really thinking about back to, to ancient India and the 6,000 years ago with the, uh, the rishis and stuff in the forest. Yes, the, the men in the forest, the, the monks and uh, our hats and all of that in the, in the forest. So, and, and when we got it wrong back, we might have gotten it right back there. But we then, by the way that we taught it, that whoever we taught got it wrong. And the more that, we, they, that we, people got it wrong, the more we became to, to, to get it wrong, too. We began to, that the, the, the certainty that is here is, would just get worn away by just so much resistance. So what I'm trying to do is I'm not trying to push anything. I'm here to scrape on this side. There, it, is, it is true that it's enclosed and the water's trying to push it out and it'll never happen. But I got to pick and I'm picking from this side. I'm picking and I'm scraping and I'm trying to get rid of, of, of the occlusion. And the occlusion 
and just get this, please. The occlusion is that you believe somehow or another that body is going to wake up. It can't wake up because the body itself is a walking cadaver. The lifing that's happening is through what? It's through this, it, it is through the, the life itself. It's through the energetic component here. It's through the energy, you could say. But I don't want to get off into energies and all of that. The, the, the energy here is the same thing as, there, there's no energy here, there's only here. There's no energy to it or, or, or without it, or it without energy or anything like that. There's just this as it is right now. And the stumbling over those words is what's caused all this ruckus, all this non-dual stuff with a million books and a million teachers and a million channels and, and, a, and, a, you know, and, a, and a bunch of confused people out there just like I was for 24 years. I always say that because I want people that have been seeking a long time to understand if you haven't gotten it a long time, that doesn't mean you don't get it here and now with me today. You can. So what is the secret? Of getting it. What is the secret? Here. What is the secret of here-ness, if you will? The secret of this is coming to understand clearly without backing down from it, because that's what we do. We just back up. We just back away from it. And I see people doing it even when they're in awakening sessions with me. I see people backing up doing it, right? The, I don't try to pull them back, and usually I can, but not always. Sometimes I just want to back up, back enough. Badly enough, you'll back up right out of the picture. So here's the secret to this. It's really coming to believe in your heart, to see in your heart so that you can believe it from your heart instead of this. Because this thing is clear, but what good does that do you if, when you're, if you're over there going, what's he saying? You've got to understand that the secret to this is understanding that there is no secret to this. Honest to God, there's no secret. There's no veil. When they talk about the gateless gate, they said that so that you would think, well, it's not really a gate. It must just feel like a gate or something. But that's not what we did. We created a gate around all that. It's the gateless gate. Watch it swing. But it's a gateless gate. There can't be a gate. So we, we could have said that it's the, the, the opening free opening or something like that that could have been more skillful. You know, see, I may not be able to do as well as they did or, or any better, but I, but I can do this. I can tell you that you are already awake and that's a relief. I can tell you what one of my students taught, taught me recently. And, and she said, you know, that just came to me and she, this person, somebody has been awake for a number of years and it's quite clear and she said to me it's not a battle it just came to me it's not a battle now listen this might be very hard to believe but it's not a battle this is not a battle until you make it one i swear to god it's not how much do you think let's go back to some of my old stuff and How much do you think a gateless gate weighs? <clears throat> Does a gateless gate weigh anything? <clears throat> well, how tall is a gateless gate? Oh, gateless gate doesn't have any height, does it? What does a gateless gate feel like? Well, the, the gateless gate it doesn't exist, but when you come to the point where we, you understand where we're talking about this, it may feel to you like, wow, it just one came through the gate, I get it. And you're, 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 sometimes they call it entering the stream is what the Buddhists call it. But, you know, that's kind of 
I remember I had somebody <laughs> stick into that one day and he didn't wake up with me. And he preferred to stick with the end. I haven't entered the stream yet, Brad. Said the stream. <laughs> I haven't entered the stream yet. Said the stream. How ridiculous is that? So what is a gateless gate? What does it do for us? It's a gateless gate. There's no gate at all. Listen to me. The gateless gate is a way of telling you that there's no gate. And what they mean by that is you're already here. If you want to be awake, be awake. Notice that you're already awake. All you got to do is be awake. And in order to do that, you just have to notice, oh my God, you mean this thing that's been looking at the world and searching for awakeness or awareness or, or, you know, or God or whatever it is? Do you mean the thing that's been searching for God is God? Yes. There is no individual point of view here because there is no individual. What you're seeing through your eyes is exactly the same thing that I'm seeing through these. I'm just, we're just using languaging here. I'm not, non-dual police may relax. So it's, there's, and, 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 and what's looking through these eyes and your eyes, so to speak, is the same thing that's looking through my dog Willie's eyes and everything else that is alive. There's just one seeing. There's one pointless point of view. What's a pointless point of view? It means there's no point of view, just like a gateless gate, right? There's no place which I can call home and say, oh, I see how things are now. Because there's no I here. There's no me here. Even the great big I, I think if you go far enough, you'll find that that can drop away too. Even the big E, yeah, even the Ramana Maharshi I, that can drop too. It does. I've seen, and I've, I've had student, students that did it with me. That, that's what they happen. That's what happens. Is they get it thoroughly. And the, usually by the time you get that close, you're, well, you know, who knows? You can forget anything, I guess. Maybe the unit will forget that, but awakeness was never going to forget it. And so it's going to torture you. It's going to torture the unit until it comes back to this place of ridiculously simple and easy noticing. Quit looking. I have a popular video. Quit looking and start noticing. What I'm telling you here is quit looking and start noticing. Honest to God, just get with me. I'm not some super being. I'm just a guy. Well, I'm not even that. But it, but it, but if you're gonna, if you're gonna to think, if you're gonna project something about this, project that it's just a guy. It's a guy that had not enough common sense to stay out of living in parks. This used to be an old park bum. It was an alcoholic. Uh, in his cups and living in the bushes, scared to death, freezing, and about to die from the, the, several things. So that's just how smart and special this thing is. It's not smart. It's not special. And I get no kudos for anything that's ever been said here or written by this unit or, or, or anything else. All of the videos that I have, they're not Fred Davis's videos. They are awakeness's videos. They are consciousness's videos. And what do you think consciousness is speaking to? It's the same thing in every video. I'm always talking to myself. See, the first thing you got to notice is, let's just check. You check for me. How many consciousnesses right now how many consciousnesses that you are absolutely sure of can you count? I count one. I count one consciousness. I count one consciousness.
that somehow is able to look that where and this is not even a big deal. It's a big deal to us because the ability of, of some formless thing to be able to look through, you know, the eyes of every of every so-called being upon this so-called planet, right? We think that as human beings, we think that's marvelous. And it, you know, it's cool. It is marvelous. But it's not anybody doing that. It's just happening. There's one thing. The first line in my first book was, was I thought just let's let the cat out of the bag. And the first line was there's just one thing going on. And uh, that was written in 2012. And it's now 2023, it's 11 years later. And what I can tell you, the most profound thing I can tell you here today is that it's just one thing going on. And frankly, what I want to tell you, we really get down to the nitty gritty, we may find that even that isn't true. Keep, them, keep your mind open to that. Even that might not be true. Let's be suspicious of everything. Let's don't be suspicious of my thoughts, but not yours. Let's not be suspicious of their thoughts, but not mine. You get it? Let's be suspicious of everything. There's a, there's a, a photograph, on, <laughs> a sort of a post on my website, and it's me. Somebody took it of me going like this, you know, as I sometimes do, and it said, for God's sake, start being suspicious of relativity. And that's what I'm telling you here, is as long as you're trying to break out of relativity, you will never do it. Because there really is no relativity. There really isn't. There is an appearance of relativity. And, there, and, and we will see things as being relative and absolute and all that. All of that is just bodies and minds trying to, to grasp the ineffable. But oneness is a great place to start. I give you oneness, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm going to take that away from you too. But I give you oneness. I give, I give you oneness versus plurality. I give you oneness versus manyness. Can you find anything outside of this? And when I say this, where are my arms going? Are they going to the end of the screen? No. Are they going to the end of the room? No. Are they going to the end of South Carolina? No. Are they going around the globe and to the end of the globe? No. They're, they are, if you will. The infinity is pointing to infinity. You can't really point to infinity. There only is infinity. But just for the sake of languaging and us trying to grab the end of it, like it's, this is like grabbing the end of um, uh, 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 toilet paper. I had grabbed the end of toilet paper and it just wants to, to strip on me because I'm not patient enough to just go around and do what little Betsy is. But I mean, it's because if she changes the toilet paper in my bathroom, it will be perfect. If I do it, you will see because there'll be strips of stuff all over the place. I'm trying to do better. But this unit is always doing the best it can, best it can, no matter how disappointing that may be to this or to you or to anybody. This unit's always trying its hardest. It can't try any harder. That's the truth. And it knows what it knows, and it can't know anything more than what it knows. And when I say it knows what it knows, we got to put quotes around that. We got to put quotes around everything today. Because we, we don't want to dive into some one word like oneness. And I've got to get this oneness. Let me tell you, I had somebody that's probably watching this video now who wrote me this week, desperate. And she sounded like a nice young woman. And so I, I responded, which I don't always do. Most of the time I don't. But I did for her. Why? Well, I don't know. I didn't do it. It just happened. So 
And I told her, I said, I want you to, to, to recognize she was looking for her true nature. And she just felt like I might be able to help her find it. And she wanted me to help her do that in a free awakening session, which just does not happen. So any of you who are dreaming that that's going to happen, get over it. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> I want you fully vested in this thing. When I, in an awakening session, I want you fully vested. I want you to be so invested that every word that comes out is important to you. You listen to every word. You're catching on every word, every sentence, every, every point. I can't do that from a free awakening session. I know I've tried it because I've seen people give them as gifts and it's really, really sweet, but it usually doesn't work. So I try not to take that money anymore. I said, honest to God, once in a while, a little man of greed, <laughs> take that money and say, well, you can probably get this one. And then I try my best and I do or I don't. But I'm trying not to even take that kind of money anymore. And I've, I've, I had a guy that paid for his whole damn company to wake up. Now, that they were, that was a motivated company because the boss was behind them and all this and that and the other. And everybody woke up except for one. And uh, the one guy who didn't wake up was my philanthropist or my benefactor's brother. And that, you know why he didn't wake up? He did not want to hear this. You think, oh my God, that's terrible, but it's not. He just didn't want to give up what he had. He didn't want to give up a sure thing for a maybe thing. And I know neither do many of you. You don't want to give up your self-will, which you don't have anyway. There's nobody over there to have self-will or not have self-will. God almighty, this video is going long, just like they always do. And I thought for sure I could do this one short. I'm going to get back to the main point. You're already awake. So Fred, then what do I do? You're already awake. If you're already awake, what do you need to do now in order to experience awakeness? Nothing. Just Notice when he's talking about consciousness, he's talking about some kind of mystical consciousness out there, right? No, I'm talking about this consciousness. The consciousness that feels like it's in your head is not. You are in that consciousness, is the more accurate statement. That's not dead on true, but it's close enough. Consciousness is not inside of you, you are inside of consciousness. The you that the, when I'm taking, talking about. The one who's fussing, uh, fussing over there, not awake, not me, <laughs> you. <laughs> so what kind of journey do you need to go on in order to end up here? Do you need to go around the world so that you can end up here? Maybe. If so, have a nice trip. I'm sorry you have to go all through all those pains, but I'm sure it's what you need to do. How do I know? Because that's what you're doing. Is it necessary for you to do that? It is if that's what you're doing. But what I'm trying to do is catch you before you're doing that so you can think, you know, I'm thinking about going to India, but Fred told me I really didn't need to go to India. So maybe I should look into that very closely before I go and spend my life saving some trips to India. And, and it's fine. If you want to go to India, go to India. I'd love to go to India, right? I really would. But I'm not going to because I don't want to. I, I want to go to India, but not as much as I want to be in my house. <laughs> you know, and I don't want to go be in the throngs of, of, of believers and everything over there as much as I want to be in the clarity of this right here. I don't need to go anywhere to get this. I am this. I am this. You can say that too. You are this because you are me. Consciousness is talking to consciousness. Don't let your idea of a separate being usurp that. Because that's what happens with awakenings too. Is we have an awakening and then, you know, some kind of awakening 
it might be big, it might be small, whatever. It could just be a, 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 a hollow. I didn't know. And, and that could be it. And we have some kind of awakening and it feels like, or the, the report will be, the next thing, the, the first thing that a rebuilding ego, and ego is always on the, there is no really ego. There's no drop or, or, you know, no hard thing of ego, but there's patterns. And these patterns, the, the, these patterns are what ego consists of, what we call ego, okay? So we can still call something ego, even I just wanted to break your idea that it's some little hickory nut in your head or something, right? Um, <clears throat> Don't let ego stop you. That's the only thing that can stop you. Ignorance will not stop you. Because I've been with plenty of people who never heard the word. Not, I don't want to say plenty, but I've been with people who have never heard the word non-duality who have woken up with me. And I have had people that had heard some. You know, they had a little bit of been to a couple of sock songs or something or read a book and they know a little bit and they didn't need to know need any they didn't need to read anymore what they read and they might have read more but it would be to clear up not to wake up but anyway they read enough to where you get it the problem is that once we get it the first thing we do is we give it away that's the truth. I want to get this. I want to get it. I want to get this. It kills me. And here you can have it. Okay. Oh, oh. Here we give it to the first passerby. The most precious thing in our whole lives. We give it away. And you know how we do that? The ego, the, the rebuilding ego pops in and says, wow, I just had an awakening. I swear to God, it's exactly what happened to me in 1992. Oh, wow. I just woke up. That's what that is. I really, I just woke up. Oh my God, I've got the secret. Oh my God, does that make me special or what? I can teach now. I can quit doing whatever the hell it is that I'm doing and I can start doing some teaching. And I know I'm going to be the exception to the rule and going to be the one that gets rich and famous off of it. Good luck. Good luck. I'm not telling you don't think about that because if you think about it, that's what you're supposed to be thinking about. But I am trying to tell you that that it's, it's way fewer odds than Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood looks like a hole in one. Looks like, like you've got it in the bag of going, becoming a star in Hollywood compared to becoming a star, becoming a star here, if you want. I mean, it's not a star. It's just what we, we're referring to Hollywood. We're talking about stars, so I say that. Really, what this is, this is a lump of flesh. And you want to know how, this, how, how alive this lump of flesh is? This flesh is as dead as meat falling off a truck. Man, that's dead. What is alive over here is aliveness itself. It's consciousness. And what happens here is you are I mean, consciousness, or you, and which arises from awakeness. So we call you awakeness. But you can be conscious awakeness or unconscious awakeness. And if you don't know who you are right this minute, know it now. God, here come the cards. Don't be yelling at me. <laughs> this thing yells at people on a not infrequent basis, but from a loving, very loving position. You know, I had a client tell me today that um, that I came, that, you know, she let me push her pretty far. She'll let me push her pretty far because she knows it's coming from love and that, and that it's coming from concern for her. That it's, it's not about this, it's about her. There's no gate. There's no hill to climb. There's no verse to read. There's no gate to open. There is no incense, special incense to burn, special words to, to say or to say ad nauseum. 
You don't have to do that. You won't even really need odd. Uh, you won't even even need inquiry except for to, to clear up, in order to to come to unsee all the shit you think you know. Because what you know, it's wrong. And I tell people that all the time. And they say, no, 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 no. And then they wake up and they said, oh, my God, you're right. Again and again and again. And you will think that I'm messing around here today. I am not. This is as heartfelt a video as I have ever cut in my life. And I want you to notice that you don't need to get it. You can't get what you already are. What's looking for it is it. We could say attention is out there looking for awareness, but what is attention? It's a sense of localized awareness. Awareness is looking for awareness. You can't, you wonder why it can't find it? How about a dog chasing its tail? When is that dog going to get finished? <laughs> He'll get tired and he may quit, but he's never going to catch the tail. Not unless it's a really long tail at which point he wouldn't even need to chase it. And you don't need to chase this. For God's sake, don't chase this. Don't pick up a book after that and say, boy, I think I got this. Don't even pick up my book after this and say, I think I got this. Because I was told you I had somebody that called this week and they were in desperation. And I told her, please, you are sitting in the middle of true nature. Don't think about that. Notice it. Don't put it off. Notice it now. And sweet thing that she is, she wrote back and said, well, um, I, well, I will notice it, I promise. And you know what that was saying? Is I didn't hear a thing you said. And I'm going to, but, but I heard something about noticing and I'm going to notice that when? Later. And who's the eye that's going to notice it? There's no eye to notice it. The only thing that can notice it is it. You are it. You are it. You are what you've been searching for. I love you. God bless. Hope I broke some things loose today. Bye.